Hello, Buckles. How you going? Miss Captain Buckle here. Doing a review. Haven't been doing one for a bit. Why, you may ask. What have you been up to, Buck Tiffs? Thought you died, some of you might even be thinking. Well, as it turns out, I haven't really got any bloody good excuses, just being a bit lazy. So, that's why. Okay. Well, I'm back. Yes, Buckle's back again. Been inspired because I found a game that was a little bit bloody different for a change from all the usual crap that comes out. It's all the same. It's a carbon copy of some other thing that borrowed this off that game and this off that another game and patched it all together and made a bloody game which is all the same. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Days gone. <laughs> Right? About five different bloody games, all patched up, stolen a bit here and stolen a bit there, and they come up with a game. It's bloody boring. Bores the absolute bloody buck teeth right out of your face. But anyway, this game is a bit different. Why? Well, because it's mainly a story mode driven game. There's no. Uh, online content as such it's all right now. Go. Yes. and I actually am really getting into the bloody story on this game it's got me sucked in I I need you to do it's this. called a plague's tale Think you can do this? and I believe it's a Sony exclusive game and yes it's got me sucked in and uh, I thought it was worth doing a review on it Okay, so let's dive into the game. What's it about? Basic story is that uh, these inquis... Inqu let me say it properly. Inquisitors. They come to this village and they just go on a bloody killing rampage, slaughtering everybody in sight. And it's all because they want this little boy here who uh, has some sort of illness. I'm not sure what it is, it hasn't really said. Just that it's an illness of some kind. And that uh, the mother was some kind of herbalist or naturopath who couldn't cure his illness as such, but was treating it. Now, what this means, I'm not entirely sure why they want him. That I'm not sure of either. But these bloody rats, I tell you what, they showed up. Around about, what's this buckles? This is, I like this. Look at this, rat food, yum. It's like crackers and cheese, but for rats. Yum, 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 some guts buckles, yum. Yes, but anyway, these, these guys, they showed up looking for the kid. And then the rats showed up pretty much about the same time. So whether the kid is connected to the rats, I don't know. It could be, but they're not your typical rat. As you've probably seen from the footage here, they're actually scared of, of sunlight and fire. Anything that's bright, they're scared of the light. So as long as you can keep a source of light, take down your teeth, fix him. Rocking between the eyes, bloody taught him a lesson I did. Yes, but as long as you can keep in the light, you're safe. The rats won't get you. So basically, that's a, oh, he's a bit of an upgrade bench. I better explain what this is. As you can see, I can't upgrade anything at the moment, but there's various bits of equipment in your sling and whatnot you can upgrade. Sling, I might add, is the only weapon in the game. If you're hoping for some more, I don't think you're going to see any more. I just think you're going to see a few more different upgrades and ammunition types for the for the sling. Uh, she's no Lara Croft in her heroics. She's a decent enough character. She's the sister of the boy and she's uh, taken it upon herself to try and escape with her brother and get away from these evil bastards who are trying to kill her. Uh, they've killed the rest of your family, so it's just you left. 
What, where you're going, I, I'm not sure. Just away. And uh, look, honestly, if I live here and it was all these bloody rats here, I'll tell you what, I would be trying to get away too. Take this, Buck Tiff. No light, you're now rat snacks. Yeah, I'm a rat snack. Alright, so the storyline's pretty damn good. It keeps you sucked in, wondering what's happening next, where are they going, who are they trying to see, is there a king rat, a boss rat, someone who is in control of the rats maybe, a wizard or some shit, I don't know, just so I know that they're not normal rats, they're, they're not, and whatever the sicknesses of the kid is, it's not normal either. So anyway, yes, it's puzzle based. You have to keep doing the same puzzle over and over and over until you get it right. Sometimes it can be a bit frustrating because you think you've got all the, the necessary things and then you're bloody, see right here, I thought, got a shooty thing, do I? No. Do I hit his head? No. You know when you've got the right thing because it comes up as a yellow object. Turns out that I was completely wrong and I just didn't know what to do. Anyway, this is a plague's tale, and uh, it's been out now for about a month. It's story mode driven. Vicious bastard! Look at that! No mercy, buckle. Uh, it's no online crap. It's just all campaign driven. Finish the game, and that's it. Much like a lot of Sony's sort of storyline mode driven games, it reminds me a bit of The Last of Us. Quite a, quite a bit actually. But that's a good thing because it's a good game. Once you've probably finished it, you probably never come back and play it again. But then again, I don't think I've ever come back and played a story mode game twice. So there's that aspect to it. Oh, look at these rats. I'm now on rat food. Yuck. All right, well, I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10 buck teeth. Why? Because the graphics are absolutely magnificent. The attention to detail is great. Lots of fog and mist and rays of light. and It runs really nice. Uh, it's got good lighting effects through it. It's atmospheric. The gameplay is pretty original. Uh, I, I love the story mode to it. I love some of the action sequences you've got to do. Um, I'm only going to take a couple of points off it and not give it a perfect 10 because uh, maybe it's a little bit glitchy at times. Like There was one point I think I, um, I, I'd made it and the rat somehow got me anyway, but yet I'd made it and it really quite annoyed me. And some of the puzzles are a little bit repetitive. You're doing the same puzzle a few times over. So, you know, that, that can be a little bit annoying too. But anyway, apart from that, it's an 8 out of 10. It's a solid game. Another good, solid exclusive. And uh, I'm happy that they're still making good story mode games like this. And uh, sorry I haven't been on. I'll try and do more reviews. I've got 20 subscribers now. Getting more by the day. So it's sort of inspiring me, I guess, to come on and make a few more. There's a few new games coming out, so I might be inspired to come back and make some more. Hope you've all been well and surviving the winter, all right? And uh, I guess that's about it. I won't rattle on too much. I'll end it here. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed my review and uh, grab it. It's called A Plague's Tale. It's out. And I look forward to seeing you in my next review. And uh, may the force be with all of you buck teeths out there. May the gaming god shine upon you. And uh, I will be back soon for another review. In the meantime, take care buckles. Enjoy the game. This is Captain Buckle, signing out.